Hi friends, my name is Dr. Vandana Jain. I'm a cornea, cataract and LASIK surgeon. So today I want to talk about LASIK and what are the different types of LASIK that exist today. Now LASIK, as you all know, is a surgery which is done to get rid of glasses. And I'm sure many of you have heard about LASIK and many of you know that LASIK can be done to get rid of glasses. But what exactly happens when we do LASIK and why are we even talking about different types of LASIK? So LASIK is a surgery which is done with the help of a laser and we change the curvature of the cornea which is dependent on the power that somebody has in their eyes. And power can be minus, can be plus and accordingly the curvature of the cornea can be changed. As a surgery, LASIK has evolved a lot over the last few decades. What everybody calls LASIK, today we call it conventional LASIK, which means we are talking about the traditional procedure called LASIK. Now in LASIK, we use a specialized blade called microkeratome. As you can see in this animation, the microkeratome moves on the cornea. Cornea is the front transparent part of the eye, which is where LASIK is done. When the microkeratome moves, it creates a flap on the cornea. Then we reflect the flap and we do the laser, which is the excimer laser, which is what changes the curvature. And then we put the flap back. And this basically concludes the LASIK. It's literally a five minutes procedure each eye, right? And the patient is um, back to normal right after the procedure. Now, naturally, then if this procedure is so good, why are we even talking about the further advancements? The advancements have happened in the way the blade creates the flap. So the microkeratomes have really changed over the years and also in the way the laser ablates the cornea and changes the curvature of the cornea. If you see this machine here, this is an excimer laser machine from Carl Zeiss. Now this machine allows us a lot of profiles that we can use to change the curvature of the cornea. There is another LASIK which has become very popular called Contour LASIK. Contour LASIK is by Alcon. Now Contour LASIK allows us to take inputs from many more machines and it allows us to do a topogra topography guided LASIK. Topography is a type of special investigations which tells us about the profile of the cornea and also about what kind of aberrations exist inside the eye. And we can actually take care of both the things to make sure that the patient vision is even better than before, right? So Contura LASIK is a further advanced option when it comes to the LASIK. Now, naturally, there have been advancements which have happened not just in the laser, but also in the way we create the flap. So the further advanced procedure, which is a bladeless procedure called Femto LASIK. Femtolasic is a procedure where we use two different laser machines. As you can see on my left is the femtosecond machine called Visumax from Carl Zeiss and on my right is the Excimer laser machine again from Carl Zeiss. Now Femtolasic as you can see in this animation takes the help of a laser to create the flap and once the flap is created we reflect the flap and we do the Excimer laser ablation to correct the power and then the flap is put back. Compared to the microkeratome, the femtolasic, the flap creation is more precise, is more accurate and the chances of any flap related complications are minimized. There is a four-fold advantage of doing LASIK with the help of a femtosecond versus with the help of a microkeratome. The further advanced procedure where we don't even create a flap so it's a flapless and a bladeless procedure called smile LASIK. Naturally, if there is a flap, there is a possibility of some flap related problem in future. So smile LASIK is a further advanced procedure where we don't even create a flap. The Visumax platform from Carl Zeiss allows us to do smile. In this procedure, as you can see in this animation, the laser focuses inside the substance of the cornea and it creates a lenticule which is dependent on your power and your profile. Based on that, the lenticule is created and then from the tiny little pocket which is created by the laser, we remove that lenticule from the eye and the procedure is done. Now the advantage here is, since there is no flap, we are better able to preserve the corneal strength 
the nerves which enter into the cornea are not transected so the dry eye problem is much less after smile lasik and also in certain professions for example army navy military etc and in certain um, contact sports this procedure is better because there is no flap related risk even if something hits your eye so smile lasik is actually a great procedure for all those people who are thinking about a much safer option when it comes to lasik so friends when you are thinking about your lasik now you know that there are many options so please discuss with your surgeon based on your profile which lasik is most suitable for you and go for that lasik because your eyes deserve the best